humans have always observed the animals around them. But how can we understand them, compare them, and especially classify them? Animal classification is a vast system that organizes all living creatures according to their most important characteristics. It begins with two major groups, vertebrates, animals with a backbone, and invertebrates, those without one. This first division already creates two completely different worlds. Among vertebrates, we find five familiar families. Mammals, like lions, whales, and humans, who nurse their young. Birds, covered with feathers and able, most of them, to fly. Reptiles, cold-blooded animals with scaly skin. Amphibians, living between water and land. And fish, rulers of the aquatic environment. But the invertebrates form an even more dazzling universe. Insects, the largest group on Earth. Arachnids, such as spiders and scorpions. Mollusks, like snails and octopuses. Then crustaceans, worms, jellyfish, a nearly endless world. To classify an animal, scientists look at several essential traits. Its body structure, how it is born, how it breathes, how it feeds, and even how it behaves. Every detail matters. An animal that breathes with gills? It may belong to fish. A moist skin and metamorphosis? Likely an amphibian. Hair, milk, and constant body temperature? Welcome to the mammals. But modern classification goes even further. With DNA, researchers can now compare species with incredible precision, discover hidden connections, and sometimes, rewrite the tree of life. Classifying animals means telling the story of our planet. Understanding where species come from, how they adapted, and how every form of life is, in one way or another, connected. So next time you see an animal, from the tiniest insect to the largest mammal, remember. It has its own place in a vast family. The family of life, organized over millions of years.